Uh, our first race tonight is um, for the United States uh, House of Representatives, District 1, and uh, we have two candidates who did respond to our letters to all of the candidates. The first one we're going to hear from tonight is Mr. William Drummond, candidate for House District 1. Yes, this water is for candidates as you come up here, okay? Good evening, how are you? Good. Glad to hear. My name is William Flynn Drummond II, and I'm currently running as a write-in for District 1 for Congressman. Uh, I think it's time that we see a change in Washington. I know each and, one of, each and every one of you cannot be happy with what's going on up there on the hill. We need to take and take back our government. Government. I want to take and be able to represent you. I don't want to represent special interests. I don't want to represent anyone but the district that votes for me. I should be representing you. When congressmen go up there, they are supposed to be your employee. Now tell me, are you happy enough with your employees that you want to keep them there? Do you want to let them keep changing the rules and making it harder for you and your families to be able to live here? I got mad at Congress, and the very next day, I took and signed up to be an active candidate for Congress. And that's why I'm going. I want to make sure that my son and my family and everyone who's in this district has a fair say in what goes in our business. There's no other way it should be done. Now, if someone would like to ask some questions? Yes. What's your background? Say again? What is your background? I'm a commercial artist. I uh, do calligraphy, sign work, website design, uh, clan crests, not Scottish clan crests, Irish clan crests, Harold Green, the like. Yes, sir? Would you support a constitutional amendment to balance the budget? Yes, I would support a constitutional amendment to balance the budget. budget. Anyone else? Do you believe in term limits? Yes, sir, I do. I think that all our elected officials should have a set amount of time to take in service. They're, it's supposed to be a temporary job. They're supposed to go up there, represent our interests, and then come home to the community to work in it and let someone else go in their place. Thank you. Uh, I also have a website, it's drummondforcongress.org, and uh, you can find all the information uh, about me there as well. Now, does anyone else have any questions that they would like to ask? First thing, we need to make sure that we get our books in order. We can no longer keep running on red ink. Uh, we need to take and make sure that our military is well cared for, and we need to make sure that we're not the police force for the world and keep having to absorb all the costs. If we have to pay billions of dollars to take and support some other country, then that country should be paying that fee to us, not the other way around. Anyone else? Yes, ma'am. Do you identify yourself with any party at all? I'm a member of the Reform Party. Ross Perot took and formed the party in 1996. I've been a member of that party ever since. This is the first time that I've been running, and I am writing as a write-in, and it's William Cleave Drummond II. And I do apologize that I seem like I don't have anything prepared, because I don't. I speak from the heart. I speak what I believe in. If I see a problem, I want to take and address that problem, not through meticulous details, but what I know is right. I want, like I said, I want to represent you and your interests. I don't want to see us going down the tubes like we are now. Yes, ma'am. Yes. 
unfortunately, the majority of the waste is sitting in the congressional room itself. Uh, unless you take and get them to stop uh, spending our money like they do, we're not going to get it. And I've just been informed that that's my time. Our next candidate is uh, Kevin Fretz, also a candidate for U.S. House District 1 from the Libertarian.
and uh, you know our veterans are hurt like that just by anybody, just like anybody else. Not to mention, if anybody's aware of the uh, issues with Camp Lejeune, there was uh, poison drinking water a few decades ago that injured thousands of Marines and their families, even killed some of them, and uh, the government didn't compensate them for those injuries. And uh, this issue was obviously brought up to Jeff Miller multiple times, and uh, he never acted on it. So if you want someone that's, that's really going to, going to take real issues into Congress and bring out in front of the American people, I'm your guy. Any more questions? we got about 15 seconds here. Thank you very much. Again, Press for Congress, for the Constitution. I think uh, if the candidates will speak into the microphone.